In-ground sprinkler systems are great, but they're guaranteed to fail at some point. And this simple troubleshooting guide will help you diagnose and fix problems yourself without costing an arm and a leg. When troubleshooting an issue with your sprinklers, the first thing you need to know is that if the issue is affecting all zones or just one zone. If it's affecting all zones, the first thing to check is the power at your controller. If your controller isn't on, check the circuit breaker and its transformer. If they're both okay, and you're sure the water is turned on, it's probably time to replace your controller. I've been using a Rachio Smart Irrigation Controller for several years, and I really recommend it. I'll put links to videos showing you how to replace your sprinkler controller in the video description below. If your controller appears to be okay, test your zones to see which ones of them work. At this point, hopefully you've narrowed down your issue to a specific zone. Next, try operating the valve manually. There are many brands of sprinkler valves on the market, but they all have wires connecting to a part that's called a solenoid. It's like an electromagnet. You can usually operate the valve manually by unscrewing the solenoid just a quarter of a turn. When a single zone doesn't operate, the most common issue is a bad solenoid. A great feature of the Rachio controller is that it monitors the power used by the valves and it alerts me if one of the valves isn't working. This email and push notification say there's a problem with my zone called left side. In the app, I can tell this is zone four. So I went to the controller to manually test zone four. In this case, you can see the zone goes on briefly, but immediately shuts off. Thankfully, my wires are color-coded and I can see zone four is a black wire. So I head to the valve box and I locate the black wire to find which valve it's connected to. And then I test that valve manually. It worked, so I knew I needed to replace the solenoid. I removed the wire nut and disconnected the solenoid from the black wire. The other wire is connected with all the other valves to the common wire, which is under a really big wire nut, and I didn't want to remove it. So I just cut that wire and I'll splice it later with the new one. Now before replacing the solenoid, I turned off the water at my backflow preventer. You can sometimes find solenoids locally at big box stores, but I buy mine on Amazon and it costs me less than $10 each. So I actually bought a spare in case this happens again. After unscrewing the solenoid, some water naturally comes out of the valve. And that's a good thing because it prevents any dirt from getting in there. I carefully screwed the new solenoid into place. It doesn't need to be very tight. Both solenoid wires are red because there is no polarity. I connected one of the red wires to the black wire from the controller, and I reused that previous wire nut. I stripped a bit of the common wire and connected it to the other solenoid wire. Note that I'm using a special waterproof wire nut that has grease in the cap. Thankfully, I had a bunch of these left over from a landscape lighting project. The previous handyman who repaired one of the other valves didn't use waterproof wire nuts, so I replaced his to prevent future issues. Next, I turned on the water at the backflow preventer and gave the zone a test. Now the zone goes on and stays on. So yet again, my Rachio saved me from having a dead lawn in the heat of summer. I'll put links to everything I used in the video description. Leave a comment if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next one.